One of the largest concerns for Central Texans this week was the number of car crashes due to these slippery roads. Fox 44's Hannah Hoover reached out to local law enforcement today to find out more on these accidents. Hannah. MG, it has been all hands on deck this week for first responders with car crashes in the triple digits. Since Monday, the Temple Police Department has responded to 61 car accidents and 19 disabled vehicles. Temple Fire and Rescue responded to 13 vehicle accidents and six fall or medical calls. Earlier this week, Temple PD had to shut down I-35 because the roads were so bad with multiple accidents on the highway. Temple Interim Communications and Public Relations Manager Noelle Makowiak shares how overconfidence is a major factor for crashes. It doesn't look bad or you don't see the and you think you can just go ahead and drive on it. But I mean, that's not the case. And that's what we've seen with all those accidents. Waco PD saw the most crashes on Tuesday with 20 accidents and later on Wednesday evening around 15. Thankfully, they did not see any major injuries involved with the crashes. Waco PD's public information officer, Sierra Shipley, says the message is consistent across agencies as they urge drivers to stay off the roads if possible. We understand that, you know, Life still goes on and you still have to get places and, and, and go see people. So, uh, you know, we just thank those people who, who were safe out there. DPS Sergeant Brian Washko shared about the dangers of driving in icy conditions in a car rollover he came across in Robinson this week. And as I was out telling to the people, there were vehicles that were, I could hear sliding behind my vehicle approaching. And, and it's a scary feeling to know because when they saw the lights, they immediately hit the brakes. They were losing control. We were on an overpass. Despite temperatures warming up, you may still come across wet and icy spots on bridges and overpasses. Officer Washco advises slowing down 20 miles below the posted speed limit or moving to another lane if it is safe to do so. Now that temperatures are warming up, the major concern is the fallen tree branches and power lines on the road. So if you see one in your area, be sure to reach out to local law enforcement. And a special thank you to our first responders for keeping us safe. In the control room, Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.